Hi everybody, I'm Jones. And I'm Man. And, and we're, we're Jones, Jones and Man. Man. And today we are Jonesing on this Suntory Japanese whiskey. Hmm? Toki. I guess Toki means like the. It's no a word. connection of time. Okay. All right. Toki means connection of time in Japanese. <laughs> so. Um, I think you're already starting to fill us in a little bit. This was a your suggestion. <laughs> I want to put that well, out right now. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and lead off. And say <laughs> lead off. Um, a few years ago, I went to Japan, and you know, it was it was an amazing experience. Oh yeah, uh, the people are you know completely just 180 from most Americans. It, um, everywhere I went in Japan, it was very friendly. Um, everyone was very cool, and I I got to taste a lot of different foods. That were very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, one of my best stories is, you know, I, you you know, I have severe seafood allergies, and everything there has seafood in it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had to eat pig intestines, and I vowed I would never do it again. Mm -hmm. But um, while I was there, I got to try a lot of different um, liquors, and unfortunately, like in in most most cases, when you go to a bar or you're on a trip, you don't absolutely remember what you tried. But I remember they had some pretty good whiskey. And um, so when I went into the liquor store and I saw the Centauri, I said, that looks like the bottle. <laughs> but uh, I'm not exactly sure because um, they... Just, oh, yeah. Let's, you. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, I got you. let's crack it open and see what we get here. All right. So do you know any any, back, any additional background? I know you mentioned that Toki was a uh, reference to time. Reference to time. Connection to time. Okay. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why what this particular connection is. I don't know if it's modern, and I don't know if it's a modern time or what kind of transition it is. I think I saw something that said that Toki meant the youngest, so like the, the uh, beginning, okay, you know, yeah. um, the newer end of it. But um, if somebody's out there that can maybe fill us in a little bit more, we are open to that. Uh, one thing I will say, I'll notice right away. This is a, I guess this is a fifth. It's yeah, a. Yeah, yeah. 86 proof. Mm -hmm. um, the it's funny because this is not plastic. It's kind of like a it is plastic, but it's kind of like a felt kind of paper kind of feel to it. So that's a little bit yeah, different. Much like Japan, very interesting. So twist off top. So mm -hmm. there you go. All and right. <coughs> now, man, before we uh, take these shots, you can, you can go ahead and pour. But uh, I'm pour. You are definitely not a Scotch man. No, I am not. <laughs> <coughs> and, um, I just caught a whiff of it. I can go ahead and tell you that you know it is whiskey. It is. It has some grain, but it's also made from a lot of malt. Okay. So um, I, I I will I will. This is at the beginning of this. We started. I mentioned to you that I think I've seen this in the Scotch house <laughs> <coughs> or close to the Scotch house. Um, but hey, so this we can I, consider this maybe our first Scotch. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely down for venturing out. Um, so, I'm really excited about <coughs> trying it to see if, if if my memory serves and this is actually what we were drinking. Yeah. I mean, it's it's got a stronger odor to it, but not too bad. Not too bad. It's not, let's click them and drink them. Click them and drink them. <sighs> so, was, was this what you had before? Uh... Possibly one of them. Let's, let's put it on the rocks. Uh, we I was there, it was very interesting. Um, and for those of you have, who have been to Japan and, and may have possibly gone to um, one of the girl bars. Oh, this is not that kind of show. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It, <laughs> and it's not exactly what you think. Um, it, it was a very interesting experience where, you know, you go to this bar, you pay these young ladies to sit at your table and pour you drinks. Okay. And they act like they are the, you know, like you are the love of their life until uh -huh. your time runs out. And, you know, you, you know, then it's... Sounds much day. like... No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. So, see, yeah, you're yeah, yeah, to that yeah. kind of show, but... Yeah, no, that kind of show. Um, um, so, we're definitely going to have to switch the ice around a lot in this. But what I, uh, what, what I was getting to in the bar, you know, they were always... They always wanted to pour water into the drink. And that was when I first realized that a lot of people like to have water with their whiskey. Yeah. Because it, it does bring out the flavor and it does take take it down to make it more bearable for a lot of people. This needs water. 
Well, that's why I'm kind of kind of juicing it up and, and talking a little more, so you can let it sit yeah. and 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 get a little more of the water to it. But they would actually put drops of water in it, and they were surprised. They were like, "Oh, American, no, oh, strong." And I'm like, and and at first I didn't understand until I kept drinking more and more, and yeah. You know, ultimately figured out that hey, this does taste better with a little water. Well, I will say that you know, we at some point in our lives we've had moonshine, real. At uh, some point, I think that was some of our first drinks. <laughs> but I'm just saying, at some point we've had moonshine. So you know, this is, in comparison is yeah. probably not that bad. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. The, the proof is yeah, much different. Let's clink them and drink. Them. Hopefully, I got clink. enough water on it for you. Clink them and sip them. Not drink them. <laughs> sip them. Yeah. Believe it or not, this, this is, I think this is what I had. Um, yeah. Surprisingly, um, do, do you, I'll let you go since I kind of know what your <laughs> review is going to be. Okay, so um, let, let's let's be serious about it. Um, this is a whiskey, uh, it's Japanese, um, and I don't, I, I, haven't, I haven't ventured into the world of Japanese whiskeys that much. But if I had to compare it to something, it is in really close relationship to a scotch. Mm -hmm. Um, Very smoky, very strong, uh, very bold um, in in the flavor. Um, I I was going to say a single malt kind of feel. And it is a single malt. Yeah. And it's typically aged in American oak and Spanish oak. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you're getting a lot of that scotch taste. So I, I would say that this is a scotch without the scotch name. I guess because it's in it's Japanese, that makes it not a scotch. Because um, I think it, scotches are in Scotland, right? Is that what, what, what is it? Whatever it takes to be a scotch, to separate it. Um, but anyway, uh, I believe I would say if I tasted this solely, no bottle, just somebody poured it. That this was a scotch any day of the week. Uh, and I'll be the first to admit that I'm, I'm not a scotch fan. Um, and there's just, there's really nothing pleasurable about it because it is so strong. It is so bold. It, it take your breath. It's like Chicago in the middle of winter. Um, it's just so bold. What a waistline uh, leather jacket yeah just it just it, it'll just it'll take your breath away or um or <laughs> chicago with a windbreaker, chicago with a windbreaker. <laughs> it's, oh, it's just it, it is it is not me um i feel like this is uh ashtray with a little distilled water swished around in it and you know strained out in my glass you know, I it just it's, it's it, it, for me it is so a fl- it is a flip flop. Okay, okay. Um, for me, it, I don't call it a flop. Okay, I think I would have to do more tasting to get it into a a definite favorite. Mm-hmm. But I think it's something cool to have. And, 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 and like I said, it's something I wish I would have bought some when I was in Japan. Yeah, to make sure I got the. The actual right thing, whiskey yeah. I was drinking, but this isn't bad. Um, if you are a whiskey, scotch, uh, scotch kind of drinker, yes, this much dip to me, much different than because uh, I, I people say it's all whiskey. Yes, it is, but I think there's a definitive like if even not being a long time bourbon drinker. If you set me with a whiskey with a bourbon, like an American whiskey, a regular old bourbon, and a uh, um, a scotch, I can tell you which of the. Th- I might can't tell you what the brand is, right. but I can tell you which of the what? three it belong, which of the three categories I would put it in. Right, right. Um, and this is just it's a scotch. It, it, it's 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 not as bad as regular scotch because with the ice it does taper taper down a little bit, but it's still not not my kind of drink. Um, so you. I'll give you your flop. I can't give it a flop, so I'm, I got to give it a favor. Okay. The only thing I wish that it had more of was a little bit more sweetness. If it was a little bit sweeter, that would kind of tone everything out. Yeah. Okay. But it, the the flavor is not horrible. No. Um, for it to be a, a single malt, but I kind of figured once I, once I did my research on it, I, I I've been laughing the whole time. Yeah. Like 
As soon as I start this camera, I'm going to try my best not to laugh because I know man's going to hate this. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's, it's scotch category. So, um, no offense again, Suntory, but for me, it is a flop. Um, Jones, you give it a favorite. Um, if you're a scotch drinker, I, I would definitely say, um, yeah. I know if you're scotch drinkers, I think that this would be an interesting um, new entry for your palate. Because it's not as bold as regular scotch. But boy, if it's not close cousins, yeah. Um, so uh, I would definitely say if you're at a bar, um, I would I wouldn't necessarily say if if you're not a big whiskey scotch drinker, scotch drinker. I'm sorry. Go to a bar that has it, and you know, try a shot. Try you know, do like we do. Yeah. You know, try the shot. Try it on the rocks. Try it with a little water. And see what you think about it. And that way you don't spend the full 35 bucks that I spent here in North Carolina. Sure. Uh, i seen where other people have paid 45, over, uh, 40 50. and 50 yeah. um, for this particular brand. So, you know, go to the bars. Try it out. You know, I wouldn't suggest, you know, just going out and spending 50 bucks and let it sit in your... Um, Unless you need a paperweight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a paperweight. It's a, it's a pretty... Oh, well, I know what you, Joe. It's not going to be a paperweight. <laughs> But uh, but it's it's a pretty bottle. It's just scotch. There's no other way around. So, before we close it out, I gotta ask you a question. Then, since we have a Japanese whiskey versus the Virginia Black, uh, which one would you pick? Both have attractive mm. bottles. The Centauri doesn't have the uh, huge American celebrity endorser. Well, I'm sorry, Canadian endorser. You know, honestly, and you're gonna be surprised, but. Shot wise, I would rather have Virginia Black mm. um, because I can put I can put Virginia Black in the category with a gentleman Jack. It's just once you put Virginia Black on the rocks, I did not like it at all. Now, if you compare the two, um, both on the rocks, mm, maybe maybe I would choose this over the rocks or on the rocks. Maybe I would choose the Centauri. Over Virginia Black, just because I'm willing you back to my side. Just yeah, you willing me back? Just because yeah, yeah. I mean, it, this is a Scotch flavor, but it's and and it's but it's not. But uh, it's more flavorful. It's more flavorful than the Virginia Black. Than, and, and the Virginia Black was just on the rocks was just offensive. I didn't. It, it was. It was. It was. It was. Uh, it was great. And, and, I, couldn't, and I can't what, explain it. But it I was, think that's what our goal is. Yeah, yeah. Is to uh, yeah. Is to find ways and and different. You know, just try different. Um, whiskeys and bourbons and tequilas, vodkas to get us a good idea of, hey, I hate this one. Yeah. Um, and, and you've done that with tequilas for me. Yeah. Um, you've actually found some good ones that I would actually drink. Yeah. So, for sure. I mean, it was, it, was, it was good to try, but honestly, it had to be a pretty long week yeah, yeah, I knew for it. me to pull it out <laughs> and pour it. It will be an empty liquor cabinet for you. It, 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 it'll be a, uh, everybody who comes over, I'm letting you taste some touring <laughs> whiskey because I'm never going to get to the end right, of that bottle. Right, right. All right. So before we ramble on too far, you know, we want to tell them to what? We subscribe. Want to subscribe. Um, follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, um, Jones, at Jones and Man. Um, email us. Uh, you know, we love the comments. Um, we love just good conversation, good banter. Uh, we, we're open to suggestions. We, I got a couple things in suggestions that I want to try. Um, but, Except for I think one of the guys said we should stick to wine coolers. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was, that was big old. Big yeah, old, yeah, big, big old, old funny. I like, yeah, I like, I like, I like, I like what he was saying. Um, but most definitely, we we enjoy it. We love it. Um, we we enjoy the interaction. Uh, catch us next time, Jones and Man. This has been a uh, Suntory Whiskey Toki.